Now, I'm probably going to do the, uh, the exact same thing for holding these boxes down. There are already some holes in the controller there, so I can probably just reuse those. Right, so I'm drilling a hole slightly further in on these plates. There has four holes, but um, I can only get two of them to line up at a time, so I'm just drilling some extra holes, and so I'll better mount it with, with four, bol four bolts. So. Okay, now that I've got the uh, four holes there, I've still got to make them bigger and fit the rev nuts to uh, fit that speed controller box. Um, now for this uh, switchover box, I can find three spots that I can drill to, uh, to mount some, some bolts in there, but trying to get the drill down in this fourth spot is going to be uh, not very easy. So I'm just going to do three holes um, and just have how long with those three. Alright, let's drill these out and put some rib nuts. Okay, rib nuts are all in. I'll go um, refit all these boxes again. There we go. Now that the boxes are fitted, I'm going to first run the cables that go from the switch box here down to the motor uh, and then I can run these two up and around and back into the back here and then I can do the uh, power cables which at the moment are just going to stick out this side but uh, that might change, we'll, we'll see how I, how I work that later on. I was uh, putting these cables on and I just noticed something. The, uh, the speed controller goes to Zoom up a little bit. Go to this big bar across here, and there's a bar down the bottom there. Now, what I think, because you only really need the two contactors to go forward and reverse, what I think is going on is that this contactor here is like a full power contactor, because we know that the uh, the throttle box has a full full open switch and a full close switch. So what I'm thinking is that when this thing, when you give it full power and you really want to go, instead of trying to go through the speed controller then going back around to here, it will just close this relay and that will just put the power straight through it uh, and into the circuit. Okay, here we go. So, uh, everything's still loose and, and some of the labels are still on but that'll be the final step when I'm happy. Um, so got all these cables going into the box here Everything is going to the uh, right spots. So I've just been following that diagram that I made earlier um, Got the giant Connector coming up the back there. Um, we're gonna have to do something with that later, but that's all right um, And then for the uh, for the speed controller there the cables are quite long So what I've actually done is I've got the cables coming out here. They go underneath and they come back up here, up and around and onto there. Um, so I'll be able to cable tie them in a spot where they don't rub against anything. Uh, but now that I'm happy with, with how, all, how all that is, I'm going to take off the terminals, give it a clean, um, take off any, any markers that I've got there and put it on for the last time. Um, I need to make sure that I have a lot of good connections so make sure that they're all tight um, they're all clean and hopefully that should be uh, that should be all I need to do for this part <laughs> 